In this video, we walk through the available ad hoc datasets that report on a county related information. We begin on the report's homepage and click Create Report. Type the word accounting to filter the possible datasets to those specific to accounting and see that there are eight available. We need to know which dataset to select to build a report. Let's step through the list illustrating the area of the application each dataset is designed to report data. The lease accounting dataset contains the information from the lease and this accounting summary section. Ad hoc reports based on this dataset will return one record per published amortization schedule that meets the criteria of the report. In this example, the published record would be row number two for the renewal. The lease accounting by period dataset builds upon the prior by incorporating the data from the amortization table. Ad hoc reports based on this dataset will return one record per published amortization table per period that meets the criteria of the report. We recommend adding criteria to look for a specific period. Reports based on the lease accounting by period dataset can include data from any of the rows shown here and any of the columns from the column chooser. The lease accounting by period with allocations dataset builds upon the prior by incorporating the data from the default lease allocations. Additional fields include the allocation codes and numbers. Reports built using this dataset will show the amounts from the amortization table allocated by cost percent as defined by the default lease allocations. Note that you may not see this data set if you're not using allocations. The lease accounting journal entries data set contains the information for process journal entries. This would include fields such as the account number, name, allocation, and amount. This requires that the journal entry periods have been approved or exported. To illustrate, here we are showing the journal entry to export page. So these records have already been approved and so these records could be returned in an ad hoc report. Navigating to the export history page, we can see the history of all the journal entry export files that have been sent from CoStar. An ad hoc report using the journal entry dataset would be able to report information on these journals from any prior period. The next three datasets are used to report on the accounting profiles. There is one for the amortization profiles, which would show the information from this page, including the profile name, portfolio, and the accounts assigned to each profile. Another dataset for the discount rate profiles, which would show the information from this page, such as the discount rate profile name, annual rate type, and the discount rate. The third data set is for the journal entry account profiles. This would show the information from this page, including the profile name, assigned classification, and the accounts assigned to each profile with their respective account attributes. The accounting calculations exception data set will identify the same scenarios as the standard report version. The advantage of using the ad hoc data set is that you can modify the report output by adding fields from your lease, and you can schedule the ad hoc report to run on a defined frequency. For more information, see the Accounting Ad Hoc Dataset article in the Support Center. There are written descriptions for each of the accounting datasets.